guys one of my roof fell down so i have to go to ubud now so um let's go to ubud is we were um, servicing we were maintaining the thingy and then somehow I don't know what happened it fell down and then because it fell down so this roof this roof push the roof of the lobby so this roof the terrace roof divided by two but divided by two you know the wood in the middle is broken boom Nobody's gonna entrance here. This is the lamp. So I guess I have to build a new roof and must be quick because by the end or next week there will be new guests checking in. So <laughs> not I forgot to put um, memory my memory card in the camera so I cannot use my camera for this video so i'm just using my um gopro i hope the my voice still uh, nice i mean you still can understand what i'm saying it's not too noisy what i'm trying to say anyway anyway you've seen the accident that i got i don't know how when the uh, workers trying to replace the grass for the roof of the terrace in frangipani they all fell down anyway as i promised this video is about the uh, racing star of a uh, visa we call it the d delta d212 multiple entry visa actually it's not new visa the visa is already there around november december last year but because now the onshore of b visa is not available anymore so now more and more people interest in this d212 multiple entry visa which is actually i already explained it in my previous video this video but let's talk about it again. Let's talk about the why. Why travelers, international travelers, foreigners getting more and more, or we can say prefer to apply the D212 multiple entry visa instead of the B211 single entry visa. To make it clear, let's make a comparison, which also include the price. But let me tell you in the beginning, this price is just some, what you call it, an average, okay? Because some agency have a little bit less, some agency have a little bit more. I don't want to say the exact price because otherwise agencies will send me email and complain. <laughs> Here we go. The All-Star Visa, okay, the B211 Visa, which now allow you to stay for 180 days by extending it every 60 days. Okay, so you can extend it twice, so you will reach the 180 days. Before you reach the 180 days, you have to go out from Indonesia and then come back with the new B211 Visa. So now you cannot extend it onshore. Before you cannot extend it onshore, so you can just have 180 days, 180 days, and so on. You can even stay for more than one year. But now, no more. Only can stay up to 180 days, and you have to go out from Indonesia and come back again with the new B211 visa. This is a condition condition now if you're using the B211 visa. So the cost to stay six months with the B211 visa more or less is 600 US dollars so if you're gonna stay for one year with the B211 visa it's gonna cost you around 1200 US dollars with have to go out of Indonesia in between so six months and then six months now how about if you're using the D212 multiple entry visa to stay one year if you're using the D212 multiple entry visa I have to read this you only need to spend around 350 US dollars I repeat you only have to spend around 350 US dollars and you can in and out Indonesia as many as you want for one year okay for one year 
you can in and out Indonesia as many as you want and each time you visit Indonesia each time you visit Bali you have a right to stay up to 60 days okay so I repeat you can in and out Indonesia for one year as many as you want and each time you come to Indonesia you have a right to stay up to 60 days and if somehow you need to stay more than 60 days you can extend this visa that's why for those whose the countries is not include uh, with these 93 countries these 93 countries they can get visa on arrival okay if a country is not include with this country they prefer to get the D212 multiple entry visa because it's multiple entry visa back and forth as many as you want for one year and it's include already 60 days stay in Bali in Indonesia and they still can extend it okay what about if we compare it with the kitas kitas in average yeah like working kitas retirement kitas spouse kitas those kitas which only allow you to stay one year because we're gonna make a comparison for one year it's gonna cost you around 1000 US dollars to 1100 US dollars for one year so it's more or less the same actually remember when I say for the B211 visa the single entry visa it costs you to stay one year is 1200 it's only visa it doesn't require so many documents just photo your passport that's it and then for the D212 multiple entry visa it's even less it only costs you 350 US dollars in one year you can back and forth as many as you want and you have a right to stay up to 60 days each time you come to Indonesia and the kitas 1000 1100 US dollars to stay one year more is the same <laughs> more is the same But please remember this, none of those, none of the kitas and visas that I mentioned earlier, the B2 visa, the D212 multiple entry visa, allow you to work in Bali, allow you to open up business in Bali. None of them. If you want to work in Bali, apply the working kitas or the freelance kitas. If you want to open up business, apply the investor kitas and have the PT, PMA. I already talked about it in my previous video. I know, I know it's so many numbers that I said in this video. So. No worries, you can always send me email if you still have a question and want to talk about more details. Alright, this is my email. Okay, I also mentioned down in the description. So that's all from now. I have to go back there. My son just told me that the workers is already arrived. So I have to, you know, calculate everything to, to put up back the roof of the Frangipani Villa. <laughs> so share this video so more and more people know about this thing and hit the subscribe button for those who haven't smash the notification bell so you won't miss any video from me regarding how to travel to bali how to stay in bali and condition in bali now my name is okimisa sign off from bali bye bye i have to go to meet the workers <laughs>